Thank you very much. I'd like to see just one here. How are we all? Big Daddy. First round knockout, yes, massive mate. right hand, good night nurse, did you expect that? Honestly, uh, this is dead set honest. I've got the power to knock anyone out in the world. The problem is I don't throw it because I'm scared of hurting people. Like, not, not in the ring, I'm talking about sparring and stuff like that. So unfortunately, I've got into the habit of not throwing my right hand. So the entire purpose of today was to set something up and throw it. And when I threw it, knocked him down. He shouldn't have uh, been allowed to keep going, to be honest, he was wobbly everywhere. But as soon as you say keep going, alright, another one's coming. So I have the power, like a like a wilder, I have the power if I wanted to and land it properly. I can knock anyone out in the world. So all I have to do is actually do that and I showed that tonight. So more of that to come. And with a short fight, are you gonna train now or recover or rest up? Well I'll go home first. <laughs> no, um it's pretty much, I'll, I'll take at least a week off, just to chill. Uh, it's been a great camp. I've been to Queensland for uh, Justice Hooney, things like that. So I'm just going to wind down for at least a week. I uh, spent a lot of time with my kids, obviously on misses, all the rest of it. My little puppy. Um, and just chill, just take it all in. The IBF belt will be in Perth for me through uh, Ben Keeley. So I'll be able to celebrate with my first ever IBF belt as well. So very happy. Lucas, what does this mean for your career? Is it back on track? I mean, do you still hope you can fight for a world title one day? Again, I'll be honest with them. Uh, it's all about politics and uh, money, backing, all that sort of stuff to go for a world title. So I don't think a world title is ever in the cards for me. At this point in time, 43 years old, I've still got the power, but I just want some good competitive fights where I can throw my right hand, make some money and retire happy. Yeah, what about, yeah. you mentioned Justice Hoodie, would you like yeah. to fight Justice? Uh, I think it'd be a great fight. Like, he is an honest, he's a great talent. Um, very fast, very young, very fit, and he's really, really good. Don't get me wrong, he's really good. So I'd like to, yes, but uh, we'll see how it goes. As long as the money's there, I don't care who it is, I'll fight anyone. Anyway. Yeah, what about Paul Gallon? Would I would love to fight Paul Gallon again. Um, Remembering that I got a hundred thousand for that fight and he got one point two mil. So that's a big that's a big difference. I'm not saying I want one point two mil, but I want more than a hundred, you know what I mean? Uh, I've asked him many times and he said no. I think he knows you got away with uh, popping me in the back of the head a couple of times. So again, I don't care who it is, I'll fight anyone. As long as their money's there, I'm happy. Did you think Far would be more of a threat today? Did you Expect like a yes, fight. I honestly, did. I honestly expected to go about six or seven rounds, uh, but I did know once I threw and landed, it was going to be good. I didn't know it was going to be that good. I thought, I thought he'd sort of go shit and and go on the back foot or something, but I landed and he went down, so I went excellent. So all I had to do was land it again. I did. Yeah. Lucas, uh, when you landed that shot, did you know right away? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, I've got a box master at home. I'm not sure if you're familiar with a box master, but it obviously is a nice big stand. It's got the one, two, the three, and then the four. And, and recently I've broken the four off. That's how I hit it. And that's exactly how I hit him. So I knew if it was going to land, it was going to go. And it did. Uh, beautiful. Thanks, Lucas. Thank you, gentlemen. Well done, mate. Thank you, mate. Bye.